not my cup of tea. Definition, if something is not your cup of tea, you don't like them. Playing computer games is not my cup of tea. No, oh, that last Hunger Games was not my cup of tea. Not quite my cup of tea, but, you know, it's nice. That's not really my cup of tea. Face acting is not everyone's cup of tea, so... It's not exactly your cup of tea. Well, I'm not everyone's cup of tea. I went by there the other day, saw some of the women walking in. Not really my cup of tea. Actually, Kevin, you might like it. Cold feet. Definition, to suddenly feel too nervous, to do something you had planned to do. The wedding is tomorrow, and you're getting cold feet. The wedding is about to start when Monica gets cold feet. Go! I don't want to marry Chandler. <laughs> okay, um, it, it's gonna be okay. Oh, oh. Getting cold feet is very common, you know? It, it's just because of all the anticipation. It's so obvious. You're getting cold feet. It's a stressful time right before a wedding. A lot of guys get cold feet. Are you getting cold feet? Because if you are, you can tell me, you know. No, no, I'm not getting cold feet. Yeah, I didn't go through with the wedding. I got cold feet a few days before. Don't get cold feet now, Gabby, please. You really think you might get cold feet? Out of the blue. Definition, if something happens out of the blue, it happens unexpectedly. They decided to move abroad, out of the blue. I don't know, man. I just, out of the blue, I got this call and suddenly, Jordan, we got this baby. That was so out of the blue. Why would you call me out of the blue? Yeah, he asked me out, totally out of the blue. Well, thanks for calling out of the blue like this. Walt suddenly decided to invest in laser tag, just out of the blue. So, um, so what made you just call me out of the blue like that? Ring a bell. Definition, something that rings a bell, sounds familiar to you. I'm sorry, that name doesn't ring a bell. Stalin, do I know that name? That sounds familiar. Well, it does not ring a bell with me. <laughs> we got a description of a man. 5'10", brown hair, big bruise on the forehead. Does it ring a bell at all? This is where we found you. Anything ring a bell? Damon Salvatore. Name doesn't ring a bell. Is he related to Stefan? They're brothers. I'm sorry. It doesn't ring a bell. I don't know what you're talking about. You don't? Wow. Does this ring a bell? Break the ice. Definition. To do something that makes people feel more relaxed with each other. He tried to break the ice by telling a joke. Okay, find some shared interests. Something you both like, you know, to break the ice. It's my first day as city manager, so I'm holding open office hours to break the ice. That's a good idea. Game. Might help break the ice. <laughs> Big boy pound for trying to break the ice. This was my fault, so I was determined to fix it. Still, I needed Elliot's help, so I decided to break the ice first. That's it. Don't be shy. Now maybe a little joke to break the ice. <laughs> on a roll definition to be having a lot of success or good luck our football team is on a roll we have won five games in a row nice game peter yeah i'm on a roll are you kidding this guy is on a roll they want someone like this Perfect, Lisa. And you got all the extra credit questions. You know, the one that got cut off by the copy machine. <laughs> well, I guess I was just on a roll. <laughs> really on a roll there, bud. Full house. Dag nab. That's some poker face you've got, Peter. Years of practice, boys. 
Peter, you're on a roll. The time's up. Well, Joey, you were uh, almost on a roll there. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Jesus, you're on a roll. <laughs> Go the extra mile. Definition, to make more effort than is expected of you. If you want to improve your English, you'll have to go the extra mile. He shows zero initiative. He's not a team player. He's never wanted to go that extra mile. He does usually go the extra mile. A few times, he's even cleaned the whole flat. Sometimes you gotta go the extra mile with patients. That's what makes me such a special doctor. I'm always willing to go the extra mile to avoid doing something. But that's nothing compared to what this next man did. He challenged me to go that extra mile. And that man is Mr. Griffin. Now I've been thinking about it all day. And I have a plan to go the extra mile. Hang in there. Definition to continue doing something in a determined way, despite difficulties. Hang in there. You will achieve your goals. Just remember, if you hang in there long enough, good things can happen in this world. You gotta breathe deep. Hang in there, buddy. I gotta go. Please just hang in there a little longer. Just hang in there and everything's gonna be okay, all right? Just calm down, son. Hang in there, we'll get you out. Just hang in there and we'll get you out of this. You're better than that, Deedsy. So hang in there and know that we are always here for you. I'm so sick of this life, Robbie. Hang in there. I don't know if I can hold that much longer. Hang in there. Why is he doing this to me? Hang in there, kid. Cut corners. Definition, to do something, in a way that saves time, or money, but that reduces quality. The only way to make the deadline, was to cut corners. FYI, to pay for this vacation, we need to cut some corners, so we will be doubling up hotel rooms, and we are going by bus. I don't cut corners. Not when the welfare of a child is at stake. Johnny, let me tell you something. That is not the place to cut corners. Look, Ned, you have to learn the way things work around here. People cut corners. You have to let things slide. You can't cut corners in life. Most trips, I had phony paperwork. If the deadline was tight and I had to cut corners, I had no paperwork at all. Wow, it must be expensive to produce all these cartoons. Well, we cut corners. Time flies. Definition, it's used to say that, time passes very quickly. Time flies, when you're having fun. Wow, has it been a whole week? Time flies. <laughs> Wait, is that the baby? Yeah, time flies, huh? Hard to believe it's been this long. Almost eight months since we sat across this table and talked. Yeah. Time flies when your life's a living hell. Time really flies when you're spending it with your best friend. Spooky how the time flies when one's having fun. <laughs> well, how time flies when you're having fun. Gosh, it is Tuesday. Time flies, doesn't it? Sick and tired. Definition. To be angry, or bored with something, that has been happening for a long time. I'm sick and tired of working long hours. I'm sick and tired of not being appreciated. But I am sick and tired of you demanding and telling me what I can and what I can't do. I'm so sick and tired of pretending like I do. I'm sick and tired of people dying because of me! People are sick and tired of all this confusion and chaos. I can't! I'm sick and tired of people pushing me to be somebody I'm not. I am sick and tired of being treated like I don't exist. I am sick and tired of, of everyone blaming this thing on me. Lose your touch. Definition, 
to lose your ability or talent you once had. He used to be a good cook, but I think he's losing his touch. It's just as well. I mean, last year wasn't very good. I think she's losing her touch. <laughs> what? I need your help. My life is being threatened by one of your students. Just one? You're losing your touch. <laughs> Either she's losing her touch or we're getting better. Like I said, you haven't lost your touch. The rat is losing his touch. Well, Victor, I see you haven't completely lost your touch. Millions in structural damage. You haven't lost your touch. But it's good to see you playing well with others. When in Rome. Definition. When you are in a different place, you should behave like the people who live there. I would never eat with my hands. Well, when in Rome. I saw this in the paper. I thought we could give it a go. Body found in wheel well at JFK. When in Rome. Any coffee thing, as long as I can't taste a hint of coffee, is good. How do you take your tea? Well, <laughs> when in Rome, right? <laughs> it's the pancake breakfast. We do it every month. I realize that. But sometimes you just gotta look yourself in the mirror and say, when in Rome. Wow, quite a drink order. Oh, well, when in Rome. <laughs> you know, Pam, in Spain, they often don't even start eating until midnight. When in Rome. A blessing in disguise. Definition, something that seems bad or unlucky at first, but that you later realize is a good thing. Losing his job was a blessing in disguise. He got a better job. What are we going to do? Where are we going to live? Take it easy. This is a blessing in disguise. Earth. You know, maybe the two of you splitting up is a blessing in disguise. I mean, there are obviously some problems in your relationship. Well, maybe it's a blessing in disguise. And yeah, maybe this whole thing is a blessing in disguise, huh? I'll tell you, this turned out to be a blessing in disguise. And in the end, this may be the eventual blessing in disguise. You can say that again. Definition, it's used to say that you completely agree with someone. This is the best meal I've ever had. You can say that again. Prom sucks. You can say that again. He is nothing if not a man of his word. You can say that again. <laughs> Disgusting, wasn't it? Ugh, you can say that again. Not the best way to spend a Thursday night, huh? <sighs> you can say that again. Boy, you're sure not a guppy anymore. <laughs> you can say that again. <laughs> this is a disgusting display. Boy, you can say that again. I know, it's really hard when you discover your dad isn't perfect. Not perfect. You can say that again. <laughs>